covering up this loan, 30 years old, almost all of my friends are in long-term serious relationships or married or with kids, and I am feeling lonely. I've previously been really good about covering up this loneliness with work. I'm a surgery resident. I work 80 hours a week, so I don't often really have time to sit in that loneliness. But the past year, I changed to a research schedule where I work more normal 40-hour weeks, and it's been a lot more depressing for me. You see everybody's lives move forward. You have failed relationship after situationship after whatever, and you just wonder, is this time ever coming for me? And I don't really want to emphasize any of the cliches of it'll happen when you least expect it or be happy with yourself first. That shit did not help me. That made me infuriated at people that told me that. But okay, so February 9th, so I'm specifically sitting at the airport in Houston, and they make an announcement on the loudspeaker that $600 they're offering if you'll sit in the Houston airport for six hours. I was like, okay, sign me up. Then I immediately, while I'm waiting now for my six hour later flight, I look at where Southwest Airlines flies internationally because I also like to fill my time and my loneliness with trips and traveling. So February 9th, I'm also now sitting at this airport and I have this trip planned to go see my friend in New York the next week. And that's where my last situationship had just moved. And I remember being in the airport so anxious to text him that I'm going to New York and not knowing if he was going to want to see me or not. So I work up the courage to text him and he says like, yeah, like let's grab dinner. So then literally one week later, I was in New York, I see him, and the rest of the weekend carries on. I reach out to him a few days later asking if he wants to do one more thing before I leave, and basically he just like shuts me down entirely. And I think to me this is one of those things where you like create this future in your head because you're just so lonely and you're just looking to hook on to anything. So unfortunately, when he shut me down, I was at Bottomless Mimosas with my friends. And so we went back to her apartment and I sobbed fetal position on the floor. Reiterated how I'm never going to find anybody. I'm going to be alone forever. And the thing is, is I had actually gotten to that cliche, be happy on your own place, where I had looked into freezing my eggs. I had thought about a future where I was a single mom. I really want kids. But obviously, if I can find a partner that makes my life better, I want that. So anyway, trying to get back to current times because I've been talking forever. So now we're at February 19th where I'm sobbing on the floor. And I had set up a few dates that month in Chicago just trying to get back out there. My first one went horribly, um, but I had two set up for when I came back from New York. And the first one was on that Wednesday, so February 22nd, and the guy had canceled on me the week before, so I did not have high hopes for it, but I was like, whatever, I'm in such a terrible place, I'm, I gotta go and just get myself out there and think about anything else. So fast forward to May 23rd, that guy from February 22nd just came to Cuba with me, and we had an amazing trip, and I'm incredibly happy. It's early, I know people might come at me. I don't know what's going to happen, but this is the best I felt about something in a really long time. And I wish I could tell February 9th, February 16th, February 20th myself, all of that, that things can change in an instant. And you just really never know what's around the corner. It won't last. Becoming a sprinkle sprinkle girly has completely changed how I engage with men. Ever since learning about sprinkle sprinkle and growing deeper into it, I've just been so excited to apply it in my dating life. But unfortunately, in the last month since becoming a sprinkle sprinkle girly, I haven't really found any guy worthy of dating me or going on even dates with me. So I haven't really gotten a chance to fully apply it just yet. But then I noticed today that I actually have been applying Sprinkle Sprinkle even with guys like I'm not dating. I'm with this guy today and I had to call an Uber because he didn't have Uber on his phone. Um, And I was so worried because I was like, oh my God, this ride is 50 euros i don't want to end up want to have to like end up paying for it because of sprinkle sprinkle i am now a lot more confident and comfortable with asking men for money and i asked them but at the end of the ride i was like mm, so are you gonna reimburse me for that ride yeah absolutely and then like um by the time i got out the car he handed me the 50 euros and i was like in my head i was like thank you <laughs> and i didn't even say thank you out loud because like why Of course, you should pay for us to get from point A to point B, duh. It's the end of the night, 
and I want to go home. And the Uber is going to be another 50 euros. I turn to his friend and I go, can you call an Uber for me? And he does. And he calls me the Uber and I don't spend any money. And I think the old version of me would have just called my own Uber. The new version is like, no, these men requested my presence out here. They brought me to this location. Like, they need to make sure I get home. They need to make sure I get from point A to point B to point C. And point C is home. Earlier that day, I had also had um, dinner with guy number one as well and just the thought of even like paying or contributing because you know we weren't actually on a date like didn't even cross my mind because I'm like no I'm a woman like why would I do that and I just love that for myself I love that how I engage with men has just like really shifted and changed um and it's saving me a lot of money <laughs> she's broke huh?